Hi everybody. In this video we're going to look at some simple exercises that will help new players learn to uh, spin the ball and to see the effect of spin on the ball. To start with, with this particular exercise, you can see the racket's held near vertically and the swing is as near to horizontal as I can make it, resulting in a ball that goes fast and flat and also travelling well off the end of the table and we'll just have a quick look at this now in slow motion so bat fairly vertical swing as flat as I can make it and the ball then travelling very very fast and quite flat just a little bit of dipping at the end from gravity and possibly just from a little bit of top spin on my stroke but the idea being that if you hit the ball with a, a vertical racket and a flat swing you'll get a lot of speed but it's difficult to bring the ball down onto the table unless the ball is very very high and you can actually swing downwards to actually directly land it onto the table itself so again just a demonstration that vertical racket and a flat swing gives you speed no spin and a ball that goes well off the end of the table changing now to the second step of the exercise uh, the racket is still vertical or as near to vertical as I can make it and my swing now becomes near vertical and what that does is it changes the flight and the characteristics of the ball completely what we now have is a ball that goes very much upwards off the racket with quite a lot of top spin on the ball and you can see that by the way it does tend to really dip down sharply at the end but still traveling mostly well off the end of the table and again just in slow motion you can see the vertical racket the swing mainly upwards, the racket grips onto the ball and the ball then travels sharply up with a lot of top spin going very high in the air before dipping down. Now obviously this particular part of the exercise requires a racket with a fair degree of grip so if you're using a, a cheap ping pong paddle that has not much grip at all you'll probably find that the racket instead of gripping the ball and throwing the ball up high the ball will tend to slide off and not spin very much at all. Um, so yeah, depending, you really need a, a, a decent amount of grip for this to work. But you can see there the ball, not missing the table by that much, but definitely going very high and very, very spinny. So by brushing the, the ball here, we're not really making solid contact, we're skimming the ball. We're producing a ball with not a lot of ball speed a high amount of spin and in this particular case because of our direction of swing going very very high before dipping quickly uh, down towards the floor. So to change things a little bit we'll go more or less in between those two extremes. We're going to keep the racket quite vertical but now I'm going to swing close to 45 degrees and as you would probably expect what you end up with is a ball that's somewhere between the two extremes, the two first exercises. So now we get a ball with a reasonable amount of forward speed, but also a reasonable amount of top spin. And it produces also, as you can see there, a much lower trajectory with a lot of dipping at the end, but still tending to go off the end of the table. So you can see there the trajectory is much lower, but because the ball speed is also higher, we're still traveling well off the end of the table. So we're still looking to get that ball down onto the table itself and using a vertical racket but a 45 degree swing we're getting closer, we're getting a, a lower trajectory not going up as high, still dipping quite quickly and we're getting good ball speed. So one more look through, roughly vertical, bat roughly 45 degree swing, ball goes up a little bit, clears the net by a large margin and then starts to dip but clearing the table by a fair amount. And in the last step what we're going to do is to get the ball onto the table we're going to adjust our racket to a, around about a 45 degree angle as well and swing just a little bit less than the racket angle it's still around the, the 40 to 45 degree mark and as you can imagine, what we now get is a ball that tends to travel flat and horizontal 
once it hits the bat, dips very fast onto the table and lands quite safely on the end of the inside the table itself. So you can see here now, 45 degree racket angle, roughly 45 degree swing. The bat, the ball now goes very flat off the bat, dips very quickly, lands safely on the table with good forward speed as well. And what you're getting now is because your swing is forwards and upwards and your racket angle is forwards and upwards, you're getting good forward speed from that but the spin is also being produced but the spin is taking the ball more forwards than previously where the spin was taking the ball tending to take the ball upwards now we're really producing much more forward spin uh, it's the same amount of spin but the direction of the, the swing being more forwards tends to make everything go a little bit faster towards the opponent